I am at my house today and we're going to show you how to install an elementary toilet. Let's get to work. All right, so first of all, what is an elementary toilet and why do we want one? So uh, an elementary toilet is just a really short toilet. It's only about 10 inches off the ground where a typical toilet is about 18 inches off the ground. Uh, the reason for that is we have two little ones in the house. We have a three-year-old and a one-year-old. The one-year-old is not potty trained yet, but we're working on that. <laughs> and the three-year-old, he is. However, he needs help getting on the toilet, okay? So we decided let's just go ahead and put in an elementary toilet, and then the three-year-old can go by himself without any help. And once the one-year-old gets a little older, he can do the same. And once they get old enough, then we can change it back to a regular toilet. So that's the reason we're doing this. Uh, it is actually extremely simple to do. And Leroy's gonna do installation for us. So let's go see how that's done. Look at this, just to let you know. I don't know how old this is, but it, the bolt snapped right in half. This one it came off when I took the cap off. Well, good job, Leroy. <laughs> I'm just showing you. So now so, what? No, it's fine, but uh, it was probably loose, you know. So now, this is the fun part. Wait, wait, so wait, what have you done so far? So to remove a toilet, what do you do? You or to disconnect the supply, turn off the water, okay. flush the toilet once, get all the water out as much as you can, turn off the supply line, of course. Disconnect the supply line, water supply line. Okay, no, that's fine. Oh, and then uh, you can remove the caps and you should be able to remove the bolts. These snapped in half, so they're corroded. So now all you do is Lift up on the toilet. It should come up pretty easy. And this is the fun part. So, now I gotta clean all this up, get a new wax ring, put the wax ring on, get the new toilet, and we're gonna show you how to install that. All right, so Leroy's doing this at my house. So to recap, you need to, that's your, that's your uh, supply line. So remove or turn off the supply line remove it, flush the toilet once or twice, just try to get as much water out of it as possible, okay? And uh, remove those two bolts, there's gonna be a bolt on this side and a bolt on that side. Remove both of those bolts, and then you can pull up on the uh, toilet. Then he's gonna clean all this up, and uh, he's going to install a new wax ring that goes right there, you see that right there? That's where the wax ring goes and then he's gonna install the new toilet. We'll show you how that's done. If in case you need to change out a toilet yourself, it's fairly easy, like very easy. When you buy the toilet, it's gonna to come in two pieces like this one, right? Yes, and it doesn't come with the toilet seat either. So you have to get that separate. These two pieces, they all come in separate boxes. So you have to get all three. The toilet, the tank, and the bowl. Okay. So this is the reason we're installing this short toilet. <laughs> For this little guy right here. Yeah. It'll make it easy to potty train him. And his brother, his brother's already potty trained, but. Oh, he's gonna get a kick out of this when he gets home. I put this nut up now. It, it doesn't matter, it's still gonna go on. Uh -huh. But I know if you check it later, you're gonna get mad at me. Why are you putting it upside down? I put it upside down because I didn't know until I saw the second one. Oh. That it had a top and a bottom for it. Like tortillas. <laughs> no, 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 that's not what it's for. No, don't do that. Oh, Christian, no. <laughs> hey, we'll leave that other toilet in there. To what? We'll leave the other toilet in the tub and anybody, if we have guests, they can just use that other one. They can shower and poop at the same time. They're just turning it around, right? The other way? Yeah. 
That'll work. Dude. Hey. I'm telling you, that would totally work. We need If you're in a hurry, that's the best way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being serious. Uh, the other thing you can do is just sit on the toilet backwards. <laughs> and listen, you can use the, the tank as a table. <laughs> this is your wax ring. This is the nasty stuff we took off on the bottom of that. The old one. So, that's why you want to wear rubber gloves. Latex gloves. This stuff gets everywhere. And once it does, it comes off, but it takes a while. So, you have the plastic like that, just like that. Center it, more or less. There's a bolt. And then we're going to set the toilet right on top of those two bolts right there. Okay, I got it in. <laughs> the bolts are sticking up. So, you just want to push down firmly on it, slowly. That wax. Settle it into the toilet. Okay. And if you have a plastic ring, I forget what is it called. Like that one was a. You're the expert here. <laughs> I'm not the expert. I'm not a plumber. But if you have that plastic ring where the bolts are holding onto, a lot of times when you tighten up these bolts, they pop right through it. So. So don't get it too tight. You can't get those too tight. These, this is a metal one, so you can. But those other ones, these bolts pop out. You got to take the toilet back off, reset it. It's just, it's a pain in the butt. There you go. Make sure it's all nice and secure, tight. You might have to shim it. Some foundations aren't level, especially around the toilets, the, the drains. So you might have to shim it up. It usually comes with some plastic shims that do so you can use pennies, nickels, quarters. You hook up your supply line, put your uh, turn on the turn on the water, let it run, fill it up, check it, make sure there's no leaks. You're gonna dap it. You're gonna what? It's called dap. Dap it, okay. seal it mm -hmm. around the all bottom right. of the toilet here, okay. all the way around. After you check for leaks, okay. uh, if there's no leaks, go ahead and seal it, and then uh, you can put your the uh, toilet, the toilet seat on. It just takes two bolts. It really comes pre-fab, if you want to say. Pre-assembled. Pre-assembled. And all you do is it has two plastic nuts underneath. Just tighten them up, and you're done. Do you have to test it, the toilet, make sure it works? Yeah, that's why I said. Well, turn your supply line on. Before you do, put your tank lid on and all that. Check it. Make sure there's no leaks around the toilet on the bottom. No, but I mean, yeah, but I mean, do you have to test it? What if you don't have to go? <laughs> you want me to test it? <laughs> no, I'm saying, I'm asking, do you have to? Not that way, you don't. Okay, all right. Just, <laughs> just by flushing it, it's fine. Okay, all right. And if you want to, before you seal it, sit on it, get up, make sure it's, you know, it's still sturdy, it's not solid, it's not uh, wobbly. If it is, that wax ring is still probably settling down, so you tighten up on them bolts a little bit more, and you should be good to go. All right. Thank you, Leroy. Sure. No problem. Okay. So, there you go. That's how you install a toilet. Pretty simple, right? It doesn't matter the size of the toilet. Yeah. Same, same uh, process. Everything's still the same. All right. So, you guys see that's a big toilet <laughs> over there? And we replaced it with a little toilet. That's so the kiddos... <laughs> that's so the kiddos can use that. Because this is going to be the kids' uh, bathroom. So, we're going to save the big toilet as they get older. Then we're gonna replace it back. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you next time. We are Texas Barnum Minions.